Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Daryl Brooks Saga. I'm Jester, and today we're going to continue with Day 5, and start go is keep going through the parade with the witnesses that were on the parade as he was going through it. Uh, before we start, just want to thank you again. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, the support has been incredible. We are almost at 500 viewers, 500 subscribers, so if you enjoy the content, subscribe for more. I'll, I'll get right into the video now. Thank you, thank you. Does that accurately depict um, the corner that you were at to watch the Christmas party? Side note, just at the start, my guy brought the Vineyard Vines shirt. Nice, really nice shirt. It does. I would ask the court to admit it into evidence and to publish it to the jury. Particular exhibit. Overruled. Pretty much this whole corner. I saw a red SUV uh, from the north side, straight for that corner where our children were. So it was kind of coming dead on at us. And then at the last second, kind of um, clipped that corner and then veered off. And I saw it continue on into the Dancing Grannies group. I, I distinctly remember seeing two victims laying in the street and then I looked up the other way where I had come and I saw a woman with plaid pajamas lying in the street up the road and that's when I grabbed my my daughter and grabbed her to pull her back. Sir, how old are the children, your children that were at the parade? Objection. My children at the time was uh, seven and my youngest was three. My seven-year-old daughter uh, had her foot ran over her left uh -huh. foot, uh, broke four toes, and also her tibia and fibula in her leg. Wow. And then there was another uh, friend of ours, younger daughter, who was next to her. I believe she got sideswiped from the vehicle. Your seven-year-old, what is her name? Brinley. After the car drove over her foot, did she still have her shoe on? We lost one eventually, and then the other one, uh, we found one. Were you able to look at specifically the left shoe after the car went past? I was. Overruled. You may answer. I, I did see uh, the shoe later on. I recall seeing a tread mark across her, her shoes. Um, circle the, the orange star that's associated with where your door was struck. Thank you. We're almost at the and end. And the approximate location that you observed the woman to your left? Objection. Overruled. You may answer. Before, so we can capture it, can you again circle the area where you and your family were? Um, overruled. He may do it again since uh, it was clear before we captured it. Okay. And then to your right. Okay. Um, where you marked the circle to your left that was associated with the same place where there's a name Jane Kulik? Yes. Oh, oh, overruled. And where you circle to the right, there are seven different names under Dancing Grannies. Is that fair? Objection. Overruled. Can we answer? Yes. Thank you. <coughs> I'm sorry, I didn't hear the last part that you said, Mr. Brown. He said that it was obvious. Then why object? If it's obvious, it's not leading. Are you withdrawing that? No, I'm not. What did you say then? I said it's, it's pretty obvious from the picture. It, it's leading the witness. It's not. Right. Your objection is noted. It's overruled. If it's obvious, it doesn't need to lead. Do you see yourself depicted in this video? I do. Do you believe it accurately represents um, what you observed that day and what you did? I do. Okay. Um, I would ask that um, Exhibit 49 be admitted into evidence and published to the jury. Uh, for the record, how long is the video clip? It is eight seconds. All right, thank you. Exhibit 49 is received. Permission to publish is granted. Thank you. Noted for the record, Your Honor. It is. He just wanted to, he just wanted him to say, wanted her to say that. Noted. Thank you. And you stated that you did see yourself in that video? I did. So as you're looking at this, would it be, as you're looking at the screen to the left? 
Um, sustain this in the form of the question, if you would please rephrase. Where would you and your family have been in relationship to this, where this video was taken? To the left. Okay. And the person taking the video, um, are they on the same side of the street as you are or a different side? Objection. Okay. Overruled. Oh, Again, it's the same objection. side as our street. Look at that. That's the speed that you're supposed to go. And look, oh my God. Let's let's Sir, watch that? that again. Oh my God. Do you see that? Like, look at the white car. That's the speed that you're supposed to be at a parade. And then you watch this monster run past that. Look at that. Sir, is that the red SUV Did you that see you brake lights? previously described as hitting your, striking your daughter? It is. Just one second. Again, we're going to see how this guy that ran over his, this guy, this, the, the witness kid broke his leg, basically his four toes. Let's see how he handles a witness. Let's see if he's empathic. Let's see if he cares. No sigh. No. <sighs> you stated earlier that you saw the vehicle clip the corner would that be fair to say i saw it clip the, the corner where the children were standing correct I and mean, what, what do you mean by clip he doesn't Coming know what contact clip means. with children that were in the front of that group of kids is that what, how you would define clip yes That's he just told you of clip, correct. you stated also that it veer quickly away from uh i'm guessing that corner what do you mean by uh, veer quickly away the vehicle at one point was coming straight at us and then the next moment it was heading 45 degrees back on the original route so it quickly turned to get back onto the street it was it, otherwise it would have come onto the corner onto that that intersection at Clinton Street. So it's fair to say if the vehicle did not quickly veer, as you say, it would have ran right into the people on the corner. He's it's, trying to say that he avoided the, the people on he, he, he tried to avoid the people on the corner, but avoiding the people on the corner, you still going through the street, hitting more people. It's a fair statement. Yes. Is it also a fair statement to assume that the vehicle veered quickly away from that because it didn't want to strike the people on that corner? Objection. Grounds. Speculation. Yeah. Grounds. Sustained cause for speculation on the part of this witness. You did not have an answer. In your opinion, why would it why would the vehicle have quickly veered? Objection Grounds. speculation. Grounds. Yeah. Sustained. Calls for speculation. If you were driving a vehicle. Irrelevant. And were able at any time to see people directly in your path, would you veer away? Objection relevance for this. Grounds. Trial. Sustained. <coughs> and I had a grounds for the sustained. It's irrelevant. Doesn't matter what he will do. It's not relevant for this. It's what you did. Answer. Question calls for a hypothetical that he has not been qualified to answer. He's so confused, but it's obvious. Did you get a license plate number of the vehicle? Again. No. You see any tents on the vehicle that you recall? No, I was not paying attention to the vehicle after it came down barreling out the children. I, my eyes, tunnel vision to the kids. So it'd be fair to say that with you focusing on the kids, it would be difficult to describe the vehicle at that point. Outside of it, obviously being a red SUV in my mind, as I saw it come down, I couldn't recall any other details about the vehicle. So it'd be fair to say the only thing you can recall about the vehicle was the color of it. And the that model. That it was a red SUV, a large, yeah. larger vehicle. So the color of it. Correct. No, that's not what he said. 
you stated that you uh, initially waited before you seek medical attention. Any reason why you would wait? I walked through the variables earlier. <clears throat> the hospital was on lockdown. I'm familiar with hospital operations enough to know that the acuity for my daughter didn't warrant me taking resources from other victims. My wife's a, a provider, an urgent care nurse practitioner. Um, you stated you uh, did the father thing, as you put it, and downplay the significance of the injury. Any reason why you would downplay it? Because it's a kid, my boy. If a kid gets hurt, you get you be just you just say it's gonna be okay, honey. It'll be fine. Dude, you're fine. It's just a bruise. Just so the kid calms down and don't freak out. It he he clearly never interacted with kids before this. I think my initial reaction was a little confusion of what was going on and not seeing any bones sticking out or any blood, um, I immediately went into this sort of, you're okay, meaning compared to everything else I'm seeing around us, you're in an okay position right now. I don't know if it was downplaying the injury per se, um, but it was more of just a, a, a triaging in my own mind of going, it's, it's, it's not that, it's, it's, it's okay. This it would, is, we it would be this. fair to say that the language you used was you downplayed the injury. Would yes. that be fair yeah. to say? Yep, yeah. that's correct. So what? Before the vehicle approached, did you observe anyone being struck? Yes. You Dave. also stated that at one point after you were observing the path to travel of the vehicle that it felt like it was um, straightening up into the middle of the parade route. Would that be fair to say? Yes. What do you mean by it felt that way? It seemed that way? Maybe in an in a incorrect term on my part. My memory, my recollection of the memory was that it, when it veered off, it went on and continued down the middle of Main Street. So would it be fair to say that you really don't recall? And I certainly recall the vehicle heading back down Main Street, down the middle of Main Street. I'm, I'm referring to you saying that it, uh, what it felt like as as opposed to what you recall it doing. I, I use the incorrect term there. When I said felt, it was more of a the word choice of recall I should have used. And you stated that uh, you would estimate the speed of the vehicle to be about 25 miles an hour? I said 25 to 30 miles per hour. Yeah, it was pretty so close. Somewhere in between that. Yeah. Correct. And you also stated that it was, uh, the vehicle was about 30 feet away from you? When I first initially saw the video, it was, or uh, the vehicle was 30 feet away. It was just on the other side of the vehicle, the, the large suburban vehicle. So how, how could you come to the determination of the speed? Because it was barreling right at us. So as it came <laughs> around the vehicle, started coming towards us, it felt like 25 to 30 miles per hour. And then as it veered off, no brake lights, just veered off and continued right down Main Street at that rate so, of speed. So it felt like that was the speed. Is yeah. the term you just used again, felt. It felt like it was going that it speed. You can know, dude. So I'm using the term felt and I am defining that as sort of a mental recollection or a gut feel. <laughs> I'm not trained in assessing speed so my gut feel what i felt at that time driving that street numerous times is that it was going 25 to 30 miles per hour. great answer so would it be fair to say based on what you just said that you're not trained in speed analyzation that would it be fair would it be fair to say that you don't know exactly the speed of the vehicle of course not grounds he wasn't in the car um, That's based on what he said. On. You asked multiple questions, so I'm going off of the very last question that you asked. And that is, would it be fair to say that you don't know the speed of the vehicle? To that question, the objection is overruled and the witness may answer. Yes, without looking at a, a speedometer, I would have no way of knowing exactly how fast that vehicle is going. There you go. 
Have you read or seen any complaint in this matter? Objection made. Grounds? Sustained. Have you or your wife filed any claims in this matter? Here we go with the... Uh, which claim? Define claims. Plaintiff questions. Um, referring to being an injured party or anything of that nature? We submitted um, a claim with the DA's office, I believe, for potential medical uh, reimbursement. So that would be in regards to the medical bills? For my yep. daughter, correct. So would it be fair to say that you have a financial interest in this matter? Again, Grounds. why? Why would he ask this question? Is he trying to convince the jury that they are doing this for money? Like, no one's going to believe that. They're testifying because you ran his kid over and broke his leg and his toes, hair toes. Why would you ask these questions? You don't, you shouldn't be asking these questions. I don't get it. Grounds. Sustained. Would you consider yourself to be an injured party in this matter? Me personally, no. Not physically. So you weren't injured in any way in this? Not physically. Not matter. physically. Are you aware of the plaintiff in this matter? There we go. Objection relevance. Browns. Shut him down. Sustained. Don't let, don't let him start this. Please. Ever had any contact with the plaintiff in this matter? Objection. Browns. Vague. Sustained. Irrelevant. Ever had Cut any... him off. Phone conversations or uh, personal interactions with the plaintiff in this matter? Objection. Grounds. Again, with regard to the nature of the question, it's vague. Sustained. I don't believe that's vague, Your Honor. I ask specifically if there Doesn't were matter what phone you believe. Con conversations or personal interactions. I don't think that's vague. I think that's pretty clear. Sustained. And I, I also believe the jury deserves to know if there is a plaintiff in this matter. Your objections noted it's to that particular statement. Your statement is noted to the objection from the state. It is sustained. Next question, please. Are you aware if there even is a plaintiff in this matter? Objection. Grounds. Sustained. Move on. Tell him to move on, please. May I have the grounds for the sustained? No. Honor? Relevant. Why did you give him? Uh, I would object and say that it's very relevant again citing that you can object to a question, ruling please. you object to questions were you ever contacted by anyone who identified as the plaintiff in this matter objection grounds sustained it's still vague that's, that's pretty clear your honor we're, it's not the jury deserves to know this information mr brooks the objection has been sustained next question please no further questions thank, thank you. you any redirect briefly sir at cross examination you wouldn't had testified that you did not see any brake lights is that correct that's correct objection. ground relevancy overruled you ask him about it Sorry, correct yes you testified further on cross-examination that you observed the, the red SUV strike an individual to your left. Is that correct? Objection. Uh, he also stated that he was focused on his children and not focused on... That's an argumentative the, statement. What's the legal basis for your objection, Mr. Brooks? That is hearsay. Overruled. I did not see the individual to my left get hit. I just saw her on the ground, or the victim on the ground. After you saw her on the ground, did the... Red SUV stop. Objection. Hearsay. Overruled. You may answer. He was there. I did not see the red SUV from that duration of the parade. I didn't see the red SUV until he, the vehicle had already passed that position and came around the other large SUV. So I can't speak to what happened back there. Was there anything that you could see in the roadway that would have prevented that red SUV from stopping before it started veering towards your group? Objection. Hearsay. And he didn't see. He uh, the objection see to hearsay is noted. It's overruled. <coughs> you may answer. Can you ask the question again, please? Certainly. Did you see anything in front of you that would have prevented the red SUV from stopping as it passed that car 
um, that obstructed that car that obstructed your view initially. Objection, irrelevant. You already objected. Rules. You may answer. Nothing that I saw would have stopped him. That okay. wouldn't have allowed him to stop. Okay. And after he um, impacted your group that was watching the parade and it continued on towards the dancing grannies, was there anything that you could see that would have stopped the red SUV? Objection. Uh, who, who is the he you're referring to? Um, I don't understand the objection. Um, were you done asking your question? I was. Um, overruled, you objection. may answer. I don't uh, consent to being called he. We don't even know the he that's being referred to. If you don't know who the he is that, he's, that she's referring to, why are you assuming that is you? Like, you're trying to tell everyone that that is not you on the car. The SUV, whatever. Why are you, you're self-incriminating right there. You're saying that the he that she's referring to is you. That blows my mind, dude. You are saying that is me. If you are not consenting to be that, call that. It's Overruled. incredible how identify oblivious he is. Still carrying by a third party for my client in this matter. Doesn't matter as a living human being. Hopefully, you are a living human being. Also, would like for the record to address subject matter jurisdiction again, Your Honor, if you would like to answer that now. She always no, answers. I would not. And will not. Is that a judiciary determination? The record stands. I've previously addressed that issue. So you will not be answering that? No. All right, the record you just, you just said no. is coming in. Is that a tacit agreement again, Your Honor? Tacit. I'm not answering that. So is that a yes or no? Is that an I'm not answering that? Take that as a yes for the record, Your Honor. That's not either, sir. I'm not answering that. You didn't that. reply. So what? Remember, non-response is consent. No, that's not you how it works. the Christmas parade held on Main Street in the city of Waukesha? I was. Okay. Who were you there with? I was there with my three children. How old are they? Um, at the time, they would have been seven, five, and not quite two. Maybe like over here. And my kids, my two older kids, would have, um, they were in the street right about there. Did anyone raise a concern about where they were standing at some point during the parade? There was concern about it. Um, a police officer had come by and actually moved all the kids back a little bit. Um, and there was another mom there and her daughter was near my kids. And she had actually said to me, gosh, they're out a little bit far. And I said, Everything's going so slow, they're not going to get hit. They, they'll be fine. Yeah. So at some point in the, during the parade, was your attention diverted from what was the floats and the participants and the spectators to something else? Something Was your attention drawn away? An SUV came um, down the road and into the crowd um, just right in front of me where my son got hit. Wow. It was coming from this way. Yes. It was just kind of like, and then it just kind of went in this way and ended up right about there. My middle son, Owen, was struck by the SUV. And Owen is seven? He was five at the time, he's six now. I dropped my youngest and my oldest off at home, and then I quickly took Owen to Waukesha Memorial. Nothing further. Oh, sorry. Nope. We would ask that a screenshot be taken of State's Exhibit 51. I believe that would be 51A. And we'd ask that it be admitted into evidence. Objection. Objection to what? Overruled. My objection was to clarification on whether she was done or not. Uh, I believe it is 51A. It is also captured and to use that one in to evidence. And the state would have no other questions for this witness. Thank you. There you go. She's done now. All right. Any questions, sir? Yes. Okay. Now, we've seen him cross-examine other people. Like like the two, the two witnesses before were males. Let's see how he does 
with a woman when he hit her son with the car. Let's see how respectful he is with her, opposed to the other witness that we just seen before. I think uh, there's a you pattern. You stated a few minutes ago that um, at one point before uh, the vehicle came through that um, you were having a conversation to the effect of things were going slow, they're not going to get hit. I never said I was having a conversation. Well, let me back up. Who were you talking to when you said everything's going slow, pretty slow, they're not going to get hit? Another mom. So would it be fair to say that's a conversation? Yes. Why did you make reference to getting <laughs> hit at that point? Because it was a parade. People were driving. Because I didn't expect my kid to get hit at a parade. Oh! <laughs> That's a great comeback. I mean, look, you can see her. Like, you can see the pain in her eyes because, obviously. And I love that she gives it back to him. So nice you had him. already made the determination that they were going to get hit at a parade at no. that point? Objection. Grounds. Argumentative sustained. You do not have to answer that question. Thank you. Why would getting hit be in your head at that point? Objection. Grounds. He's saying that she's pre she predicted that they were going to get hit. Overruled, what? she may answer the question. I wasn't concerned about my children being hit at a parade because typically at a parade, floats are going very slow. Very slow. It still doesn't quite answer the question because the statement was things are going pretty slow. They won't get hit. What, what prompted the statement they won't be hit <laughs> she just at told that you. point. Just Another mom to you. was concerned about how much into the street the kids were waiting for candy. So it'd be fair to say that the initial concern was from another parent? Wow. Hmm. Wow. This guy is incredible. He's saying that, oh, you weren't concerned then. It was the other mom. And not yourself. Wow. I wasn't worried about my kids getting hit at a parade as I shouldn't have been. This is incredible. I kind of... You stated also that you dropped your other kids off before seeking medical attention. Would that be fair to say? I said that. Any reason why you didn't seek medical attention immediately? I did seek medical attention immediately. Yeah. You also just stated that you dropped your other kids off. In my the house game. is on the way to the hospital, so I dropped two of my children off so they wouldn't have to sit at the <laughs> hospital. Thank you, monster. So your attention at that point was to seek medical attention? Yeah, that's what she did. I sought medical attention. Was yes. that your intent? That's what she did. That's what I did. Was it your intent? Objection, are you guys to have uh, Stayed. Asked an answer. Before you were able to see the vehicle that struck your son, or was it your son? Yes. Before you saw the vehicle, did you observe anyone else struck before no. that moment? No. After that moment? No. It just Do you recall how long you were treated uh, at the hospital? Again, he never prepares for this. He's reading the report as right now, and when something pops up in his head to ask, he just asks it. He's wasting time. It, I don't know. We were there for a while waiting. The waiting room was full of people that were hurt. Were you ever told at any point during your, your waiting process that you probably could have went to another medical uh, facility. Objection. Grounds. Sustained. You recall giving a, a statement to law enforcement? Yes. Do you recall if it was the same night of the incident? I gave a report the night of the incident at the hospital. 
And did you follow up on that report at any time? No, I didn't. Any reason why? Why would you? I'm, well, why would I follow up? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Thank well, you. Well, it would be fair to say, uh, would it not, that after making a report to law enforcement, you would want to follow up maybe to see what's going to be done about the report. Would that be fair to say? No. I knew that the police were going to do their jobs, so I didn't have a reason to follow up. They contacted me when they needed to contact me. Boom. So it'd be fair to say you just gave the report and then just left the, the rest up to law enforcement? Yes. Sure. That's their job. Did you file any claims related to this matter? No. Ever read or saw a complaint in this matter? No. Grounds? Sustained. Whom are you contacted by in regards to testi possibly testifying in this matter? Um, I, don't, I don't know. Probably the DA's office. I don't know. Were you subpoenaed? I was subpoenaed to be here. Do you recall who that subpoena was from? I don't know. So it would be fair to say that you received a subpoena and never read who it was from. Would that be fair to say? From the state of Wisconsin. How do you go? When you say the state of Wisconsin, who are you referring to? Objection relevance. Grounds? Sustained. Grounds for the sustain? It's not, not relevant. Will you consider yourself an injured party in this matter? I was not physically injured myself. Have you filed a claim in this matter in any way? Yes, the answer. Sustained. Yeah. You already asked that. Would you consider yourself to be the plaintiff in this matter? Objection no. relevance. Rounds. Sustained. Rounds for the sustain? Not relevant. Also under 906.11. Thank you. Oh, I thought she was going to ask you to move on. Are you aware of any plaintiff in this matter? Ask him to Objection. move on. Grounds. Sustained on relevance grounds. Ever had a conversation with the plaintiff at uh, any time in this matter? Objection relevance. Grounds. Sustained is to the form of the question. Uh, you may rephrase it if you would like. It's <laughs> more specificity. Have you ever had any phone conversations or personal interactions with the plaintiff in this matter? Objection, vague. Grounds. Sustained is to the form of a question. You may rephrase it if you so choose with more specificity so that it's not As, vague. Are you aware of the identity of the plaintiff in this matter? Objection. Grounds. Not relevant. Grounds. It's not relevant. Sustained. No, none of these questions are relevant. Are you aware if there is a plaintiff in this matter? Objection, relevant. Grounds. Sustained. Grounds for the sustain? Unrelevant. Sustained. Also under 906.11. Uh, with all respect, Your Honor, the jury deserves to, to know this information. They don't. For withholding important information from the jury, they deserve to know this. The jury will disregard the statement made by Mr. Brooks as not being an accurate statement of the law. Next question. Huh, he's so confused. What? What? What do you mean I'm wrong? Shake my head. So to the best of your knowledge, you, you're not aware of any plaintiff in this matter? Objection. Grounds? Sustain. Mr. Brooks, please move on. Thank to you. Topic under 906 40 11. questions you later, you ask you asking to move on. on. to a new topic, I will close the cross-examination. I got. With all due respect, Your Honor, this is important information the jury deserves to know. Nah. Mr. Brooks, ask a relevant question, please. That holds a lot of relevance, It's right? not. Um, Mr. Brooks, one last opportunity to ask a question. Otherwise, uh, the court will declare your, the cross-examination closed under 906.11. I can direct your attention to November 21st of 2021. Were I think that's another witness. Christmas parade on that date? I was. Okay. Okay. Uh, we're going to leave the, con the, the video here. Uh, I'm going to come back tomorrow. We're going to finish day five. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a like if you made it this far and I'll see you guys on the next episode tomorrow. Bye-bye.